Hey, welcome back to Matt again. My name is Rampage and this is Gaming News. This article is Borderlands the pre-sequel studio closed. <sighs> so 2K Australia, the studio responsible for games such as Freedom Force, Tribes Vengeance, SWAT 4, Bioshock, Bioshock 2, Bioshock Infinite, The Bureau, XCOM Declassified, and Borderlands the pre-sequel. Now, all of these games, they may not have actually developed fully or whatever, but they have been a part of some pretty noticeable AAA games. But they did develop Borderlands the pre-sequel. So, alright, let's see what the article has to say or what 2K has to say about their ordeal. Alright, we can confirm we have taken steps to begin the studio closure process for 2K Australia in order to better manage ongoing development costs while improving the working proximity of our creative teams, 2K said. We are very grateful for the team's valuable contributions to numerous 2K projects and are working with affected staff to explore reassignment opportunities where possible. So, it's always good when you see, you know, publishers or actual, like, the, the higher-up developer <clears throat> actually come, in, come out and say, like, Oh, we're going to help out the affected staff, you know, to try and find a job elsewhere. But in Australia, that's really not the option at all. Um, 2K Australia was the last AAA studio here in Australia, and it's going to be really hard for these guys to actually find another job, you know? Like, they've either got to go to indie studios, uh, go to America or the EU or somewhere else, to actually find a job. Now, I'm not saying that indie studios are bad or anything. I'm just saying that it's just, you know, if you've been working on a AAA, tri uh, AAA games for like the last 15 years, then it's going to be a bit awkward when you, I don't know, this is just how I feel about it. I'm not a developer in any way, so I wouldn't really know the feeling, but it would seem awkward to go from a AAA studio or a AAA game to like an indie game, unless that's what they want to do, you know? If they don't want to create AAA games, and that's fine too, but at the end of the day, it's going to be difficult for them to actually find a job. And I say that because in Australia, we used to have this sort of government program, uh, just bring up the article here, uh, that was basically a program that allowed developers, or they had this funding, right, which was the Australian hold on, the Australian Interactive Media Fund, which was basically $10 million that they could hand out, not all at once, but like it allowed developers to grab some money or some funding if they needed or whatever. And that $10 million worth of funding was actually dropped by the Australian government. So it has made it a lot harder for the developers to actually stay afloat. And it, I don't know, it just really annoys me because not only that but here in my state south australia it's we don't really have the option to actually go into development uh, game development sort of study or anything like that like it's either the course is sort of small or whatever it doesn't really go into much detail or the degree that you can get is a media and games development degree or a bachelor which essentially is media focus, like media production focus, where the last year of a three-year study is a sort of small portion of game design. And that doesn't really make a difference. Like, there's, okay, I'm not going to spend three years of my life just to spend two months on a subject that I'm actually passionate about, you know? So for me, to actually get... To what I want to do, I have to move state. Now, there is a place, uh, I think it's TAFE, that uh, does game design courses, but that's like on the other side of town, which is n going to take me nearly two, probably three hours just to get there, right? So that's not an option for me. And I feel that that's the same kind of thing that happens with games developers in Australia, especially AAA studios. Like, where, where do these guys go? You know, it's going to be hard for them to move country, you know, state even, even, let alone move a country. So, it is going to be interesting 
to see where they move to if they want to move at all or if they actually create their own studio but it is still annoying that the government doesn't really care much about games development in Australia and they just sort of keep games developers in a sort of box or a bucket outside the rest of humanity they're just kind of shunned upon right and that is really hard to have a mindset of oh I want to be a games developer in Australia when the government doesn't care or the education departments don't really care about that sort of minute uh, majority that may actually want to get into games design it's just really difficult and in turn makes job choices or even choices to get to that kind of study a lot harder and I feel that if you get rid of or if these companies are going to get rid of a triple a studio the same thing would apply because they where, where can they go you know if there's little to no triple a studios left where do these guys go that's what I'm sort of I don't know I, I feel for developers when they lose their job and stuff it's just in Australia it's going to be really hard for them to find another one but yeah, I don't know. Let me know what you think about it in the comments below. But my name is Rampage. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.